Hey everyone, my name is Stanley, and in this video, we're gonna see how to analyze data using Tableau. Tableau is a business intelligence tool used for data visualization, data analysis, and storytelling. And data visualization is the graphical representation of information and data. You can do this using charts, graphs, tables, and maps. Tableau is used for exploratory data analysis as well, which is used to notice trends and patterns in data. It can produce dashboards which help businesses monitor their performance. You can also connect to several types of data sources like MongoDB, Postgres, and more. So we're going to do some customer analysis today, but before we get started, you're going to have to know a couple things. Number one, know who your audience is. So in our case, since we are doing customer analysis, the audience could be the marketing team or the research team or even the executive management team. Okay. Number two, get relevant data sets. Okay, number three, choose the right analysis. So there are three main types of analysis, descriptive, predictive, and prescriptive analysis. Okay, there are 44 different types of charts. So make sure you choose the appropriate chart for, for the information you're about to present. Make sure your dashboard is a solution to a problem. It could be a solution for effective marketing or efficient operations or better customer service. Let's do some customer analysis and it's going to be descriptive. So we got a couple tasks here to do and task number one is to get the revenue per state. So that's what Tableau is going to look like once you open it. So we're going to hit connect to data. And these are all the options that you are able to connect to using Tableau. So we're going to connect to a CSV file. So I'm going to hit text file. And this is the one that we're going to connect to. So as you can see, we have all our columns here. So the SKU over here is the name of the product. And the total is the price times the quantity ordered minus the discount. If you want the actual value of a product, that's going to be right here in the value column. Okay. So let's create a new chart and we're going to get the revenue per state. And you know, Tableau has separated all our columns here into dimensions and measures. So a dimension is a string value and a measure is a numerical value. So in Tableau, everything is drag and drop. So the state column is right over here. I'm just going to drag it and drop it onto rows. If you want it as rows, you can drag it onto rows. If you want it as columns, you're going to drag it and drop it onto columns. But I'm going to have it into rows and let's get the total into columns. So that's very neat already. So if you want to get the label of the total, so since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to hold the command key. If you're on a Windows, you're going to hold the control key. And we're going to drop it onto label. And there it is. So if you go here to show me, Tableau is going to suggest you all these built-in charts. And Tableau is also smart enough to recognize that the state column is an actual place. Therefore, you got this actual map here. So if I were to click that, it looks much better. So it's, it's still the same as before. Wherever the sales is high, the concentration of the color is high. Okay. Still, if you want the label, we're going to drag and drop the total onto label. Okay, 
So let's let's do some formatting here. So I'm gonna go to the label here because I want to make it bold. That's good. Let's also change the color. I want to make the colors more bold as well. Let's also change the color. And I kind of like this one, so that's what I'm going to choose. So there it is. If you also want some, some kind of dark mode, just go here to map. And there it is. Okay. But I kind of like this one better. So that's what we're going to go for. All right. So we're going to rename this chart. We're going to call it revenue per state. All right. Task number two, revenue based on month of the year. So let's go ahead and create a new chart. And the month column is right over here. Now, as you can see, the data type is a string. So before we get started, let's change the data type to a date data type. So let's drag it and drop it onto columns. And the total, I'm going to drag it and drop it onto rows. Since the month column is a date data type, we can play around and see which year it was, which quarter it was and stuff. Okay, so we don't want the quarter here, so I'm going to push it away. And there it is. So we have 12 months and we have two years but the goal here is to get the year displayed along with the month so this is how we're gonna fix it so if I go right here that's the one we we're looking for and there it is let's also get every single month to display so I'm gonna say discrete okay Let's also get the label for the revenue. And let's also change the color. All right. Let's also get rid of these grid lines. So let's go to format. I'm gonna go right here. There it is. So let's rename this chart. Task number three, revenue based on age. So let's drag and drop age onto columns. Let's drag and drop total onto rows. But that's not what we're looking for. We are looking for a histogram. And the problem that's happening here is that since age is a measure, Tableau wants to perform a function on it. Okay but we would never get what we're looking for if that were the case so we're gonna have to create bins let's call it age bins and the size of the bins is the difference between the age so i'm gonna say 10 and that should be right on top and we're gonna drag it and drop it onto columns once again and that's exactly what we're looking for let's also get the label of the revenue and there it is so ages between 10 to 20 have spent almost seven million dollars so I want to make these labels more readable where it says 10 20 30 40 and so on so let's edit the alias so if it's 10 we're gonna say less than 20 we're gonna say greater than 70 all right so if you want an actual histogram you can make it continuous and there it is but I kind of prefer the bar graph so that's what I'm gonna make it look like let's also get a different color Okay, let's also get rid of the grid lines once again. So there it is. Let's rename this chart. I want to call it revenue. 
per page. Task number four, quantity and discount percentage correlation. So let's drag and drop discount percentage onto columns and the total, or I'm sorry, the quantity ordered onto rows. And the same problem as before is happening. Since both these columns are measures, Tableau wants to perform a function. So we're going to change both these columns to dimensions. And let's also filter where the discount percentage is zero. So let's say the discount percentage should be at least 1%. And there it is. So if you notice closely, there is a pattern that's being formed here. As the discount percentage is increasing, the quantity ordered is also increasing. And there is a positive correlation. So therefore, we can say that if the discount percentage of a product is high, the quantity ordered is likely to be high as well. Let's go ahead and rename this chart. All right. Task number five, percentage of revenue per region. So let's go back here, drag and drop region onto columns. Let's also get the total, okay? So instead of a bar chart, let's make it a pie chart. So there it is. Let's also make it a bit bigger. Let's also get the labels. So instead of the, you know, the revenue, we want the percentage. So we're going to go here to quick table calculation. We're going to say percent of total. And there it is. But let's say that you want a donut chart instead of a pie chart. We're going to do it this way. And a donut chart is not part of Tableau's built-in charts. So we're going to play around here with Tableau until we get a donut chart. So first of all, you're going to create calculated field. We're going to call it a zero axis. Okay. So there it is. Let's drag and drop this onto rows. Let's do that once again. So we have two charts here and Tableau has organized this for us. So if you see here, it's arranged in tabs. So the first tab here is the first chart and the second tab here is the second chart. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of everything on the second chart. You're going to see why in just a second. Let's also make it a bit bigger. All right. Now let's go back to the first chart. Let's make this one bigger than the second chart. That's way too big. Okay, all right, that's good. And now we're gonna say dual axis and these are gonna merge these charts. There it is. So all we gotta do is just change the color to white. And that's our donut chart. Let's also get rid of this label where it says zero axis. Okay, let's also get rid of the grid line here. All right, let's finally label our chart. Task number six, revenue per category per gender. So let's go ahead, drag and drop the gender and category. Let's also get the total, which is the revenue. So that's exactly what we're looking for. But here's the problem, in my opinion, this chart is not presentable. So, you know, since there are a lot of things going on at the same time, and the category column is being repeated twice, so the fix for this problem would be if we were to change this chart into a butterfly chart. But the butterfly chart is not part of Tableau's built in charts, so we're gonna have to create it ourselves. So, in order to do that, 
if we were to separate the revenue based on the gender, it's going to make things much easier. So let's go here to create calculated field. So let's go back to the data source here. And if you see here in this gender column, the gender is either F or M, as you can see here. So that's exactly what we're doing here. If the gender is F for the female revenue, then we want the value that's in the total column. Let's go ahead and do the same for the male revenue. Alrighty, so we got both our calculated fields over here. So I'm going to get rid of the total column that we had in the beginning and also the gender. But instead, we're going to drag and drop the ones that we just created. And there it is. So how do we make this look like a butterfly? So if you remember, we had a zero axis from the last chart. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. It's absolutely nothing except a zero inside of it. Okay. So that's going to help us out here. So I'm going to drag and drop this zero axis in between the male and female revenue. And we are going to go navigate to the zero axis tab right over here. Let's drag and drop the category right onto label. And instead of automatic, let's make it text. And there it is. Let's also go ahead and rename this column here. And also, let's get rid of this zero, which is the tick mark. Okay, now we're going to uncheck show header on the categories column. And there it is. Now we're going to go ahead and make this chart, the female chart, reversed. We're almost there. Okay, let's also sort it. And it's almost looking like a butterfly. And let's get rid of the grid lines here. Okay, let's also add some color. Let's do the same for the male revenue chart as well. And there it is. That's our butterfly chart. And let's let's not forget the the label for these charts. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and rename this chart. And there you have it. Task number seven, build the dashboard. So before we get started building the dashboard, let's go ahead and do some formatting. You see here, the numbers are way too long. Let's make them short and concise. So I'm gonna go here to total, let's go to format. Let's go to numbers, we want a currency. Let's make it one decimal place and in millions. And it looks much better now. So let's go ahead and do the same for every single chart. So for this chart over here, the title says month-wise revenue already. So there's no need for this label over here. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Now for the donut chart, if I hover my cursor over the chart, it says zero axis. And this is from the second chart or the inner pie chart. So we're going to go here to tooltip. We're going to get rid of that. Now let's go to the outer chart. Once again, you can see the zero axis. Okay, so let's go to the correct tab here. 
So let's go to tooltip. Let's get rid of that. And there it is. So in order to create a dashboard, you can see this icon over here. It says new dashboard. So there it is. Let's go ahead and make this a bit more wider. That's good enough. Let's also go ahead and get a background color. All right. So instead of having it tiled, let's do floating and everything's going to be drag and drop. So I'm just going to go here and drag and drop every single chart. So let's go ahead and get a title for the dashboard. So we're going to drag and drop this text object. And let's also go ahead and get a filter. So I was thinking that we can get a filter based on the categories and the categories column belongs to this chart over here so we can go here to more options let's go to filters we can select category from directly from the dashboard okay so instead of having a list let's make it a drop down let's go ahead and do some formatting so that looks much better Let's make the title a little bigger. Now, we want this filter to impact the whole dashboard. So in order to do that, we're going to go to more options, apply to worksheets. We're going to go to all using this data source. So let's go here and let's say that we want to filter and we want all the data except the appliances and the whole dashboard has changed right so we can also do it another way we can filter things another way so we're gonna say use as filter and what is this gonna do is that it's gonna make this dashboard way more interactive so if I were to click on California the whole dashboard is going to change according to California. Okay. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do the same for every single chart. And let's also go ahead and get the total revenue as a label right over here. So let's create another chart. Let's drag and drop the total onto text. Let's rename this chart. So let's go ahead and drag and drop this right over here. Okay. Let's also make the title bold and 18 points. And it's going to lines. So that's not what we're looking for. So we're going to click this chart and go here. And we're going to say fit width. And there it is. Okay. Let's also get the background color as the same over here. So we're going to go to format. Let's go to shading. And there it is. Okay. Alrighty. And let's also format this just so it's a currency.
let's also make it left aligned. And there it is. Let's also make all the titles of the charts center aligned and bold. Alrighty. So let's also go ahead and get a line to separate the title and the charts. So we're going to go here, we're going to drag and drop this blank object, and now we're going to go to layout, and the background color is the color of the border, or the color of the line, okay, and let's go to the size over here, let's make it as long as the dashboard, and the height, we're going to make it three points, and there it is, let's drag it and drop it right over here, and there it is guys. Isn't it amazing how easy and fast you can make dashboards using Tableau? <laughs> now you know how easy it is to create good looking dashboards using Tableau. I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching. If there's any feedback or suggestions, please put them down in the comments and there's a lot more videos coming up. Thank you.